Hello friends, welcome back to the VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will continue with our Django REST API framework video tutorial. And guys in my previous video I just showed you how you can actually access your models from Django administration web page. But this is not our goal because this is already provided by Django. Our goal is to take this data inside Python application using REST framework and uh, for that we need to enable rest framework inside our app so without further delay let's just go and create a rest api for our application first let's just go to the settings.py and make sure you have rest framework here otherwise you will not you cannot do anything rest framework is here and don't forget to put the comma in the end if you don't put you will see the error perfect so this is done from the settings.py now let's just go to the app and the app which you created the name can be anything if you are following with me and then the app is hrm here we will create two files there is no hard rule that you have to follow what i'm saying in terms of filing it's all about how you manage your code you can put your entire code inside views.py no problem but there is a structure if you follow then it will be very good okay python or django will not hold you to do follow the same structure okay now let's just go and uh, create two files one is inside your start app new python file and i'm going to name this api.py okay so this is my api.py and i'm going to create another file and i will give the name serializers.py okay so yes just two two files you have to create empty files and we will start everything from scratch here and uh, there is actually view.py which can be used as api.py but i want to separate the views.py here because this is something if you want to render a html page with some content but uh, our intention is not to create views we will just create apis right so just stick with the api.py let's just first create our serializer because that is required for our api let's just put it on the first one so now all we have to do is import from from rest framework and you need to import serializer so once you have the serializer we'll just create a class and also let's just import our model also from hrm dot models import users and uh, let us create a class and that will be our users users i mean we can just say serializer okay and in this all you have to do is we need to inherit serializers dot model serialize okay then inside there you can just uh, call your uh, first of all we need to create a meta class here class meta <coughs> and there we need to provide few uh, parameters which is uh, model which model you are going to use we will use users and what fields you want to use and i'm going to use all fields okay and uh, the third one which is actually not required i mean let's just keep it simple at, at this time so what we did so far uh, from uh, rest framework we import serializers and we uh, inherit serializers dot model serializer because we want to serialize a model here because we in HRM model we created a model here and uh, to provide the information for the for this serializer you need to provide what is your model and what are the fields that you want to see and if you specifically want to see only name then you can use something like this I mean you then you no need this uh, whatever fields you want to display you can just 
display here so name and uh, maybe employee id you can use this so i mean let's just use this and we'll keep it commented later we will just open this all so for now we will just only the, we will see only these two okay so our serializer is ready now let's just go to apis.py and this is the file which is actually linked to our urls so url once we will reach there that will also very fun stuff because through url we will access this so if you execute a url you are sending some instruction to django and asking hey django do something but how django knows that with this url where i have to go so this is the place where once you once you type a url and hit execute uh, this file will execute actually the api.py and that will give you the data okay so there's two things uh, which we will import not even so first thing is from rest framework and from rest framework first thing is we want to import import is our api view oh, oh. sorry it's actually inside uh, view import api's view okay so this is the first thing and then we need to import uh, response this better one from and this is our from response i'm going to response and from rest framework port status also for, we will import uh, i mean we from serializer dot serializers import all so here we will import everything from serializer and these three import statement from rest framework and now we will see how we can create the actual classes using this okay so first thing let's just start create a class which is uh, class and this is our user uh, list uh, so we can just say user list okay so with this with this class we can actually go uh, get the list of all the users okay so here we need to pro uh, see since we imported this view api view that we will actually put here api view and this once once you get the api view it's actually looking for a few functions here and that function will be uh, get put post and delete so all those http methods will be included here so that methods are actually api view methods so we will just put get here and step by step i will show you all of the methods okay so now let's just go and create our get method so with this get now we need to first argument that we need to say is a request and uh, i think that's it for now this one and uh, now what we want to what we want to display that also we need to mention so we say that okay we want to display all the employees all the users exist inside hrm so for that first of all we need to uh, get the serializer which is actually we created previously so for that serializer So our serializer is actually our users serializer and you know here we need to pass few argument and that argument will be actually we need to provide the model name user so let's just say our model so model equals to users dot objects dot all and uh, this will be our model and uh, then we need to say hey uh, just uh, return us all items so then this will be a multiple item then we need to provide many true so with that we have the serializer and after that we need to do the return so what we are returning we are returning a response and in that response we will response serializer dot 
and uh, data that's it so guys let me just again explain you how what what are the things going on i mean if you can see this uh, the lines are very simple uh, sorry it should not be the s it should be serializer because we just need to get this data here okay, okay. so let's just go over again with this thing what we did so we created a class here called user list and that we inherit api views when you get api views it will come with a few methods which is get put post and delete we will override all those with our method our uh, code and uh, if you go inside the get inside get we are saying that hey whenever this uh, you uh, from a url if you exit uh, if you access this class then return this data then how this data looks like wait a minute we will just go and look at the so for that in our last we will just create one more file here which is urls.py or maybe if I, if I not make any complication we will just use our central urls.py because for app level also there is a urls.py here so you can go there and here you can provide the actual uh, i mean the link of the api and uh, how you can actually so first of all you need to provide a path name so path name how you can start with either you can actually go and uh, first of all let's just create url let me just see if the url is exist or not uh, no the url is not exist so we need to import url also so from django dot on dot url and import urls so once you import url then inside url pattern you need to add a another pattern so how you can write a pattern i will show you here so let it will be a url so url and inside that first thing is you need to provide a kind of a regular expression which is uh, what should be the path that you want to have with your api so let's just go start with r and here i want to start with uh, for example api and then and it will i will say that hey the api but it's also api and uh, users users list so this will be my regular expression for that but uh, once you're done make sure it's end up with a slash dollar and then second thing you need to provide the uh, the api address so where it is right now it's in our from hrm dot apis import users uh, user list okay so this will be a user list so uh, so now we need to provide the api view and for that api view what you can say is that uh, url list dot and then you can say as view okay and then the third one we need to provide a third argument here which is the name and the name will be user user list okay so i mean we just added this url here nothing complication one url one api one serializer not so complicated here okay let's just clear this stop my server start again i have this api view here uh, this uh, django administration view let's just go duplicate and here i will start with the uh, api users what is the pattern you can go always to the user and it, it will be users list users list okay let's just hit enter perfect so guys once you hit enter as you can see when you reach to this url you see uh, there is actually a data which is returning with this and also you can just see this data in as a json format also so this is the json data and that's what we are looking for because uh, we can read this through other libraries like uh, request and all to read this perfect so with that now we have this uh, 
data but as you can see this is only showing these two fields but inside our model we actually have more which is photo ranking age but it's showing only two and this is because inside our serializer we say hey just display only two now let's just comment that and display all okay refresh the page and now you can see that we have all the fields here so guys with that you can create the at least you can start with the get method and uh, if you have any doubt or any confusion you can just comment below this video i will get back to you about that and uh, yeah i want to keep this simple as simple as possible to give you understanding now in my next video i will go with further with this video i will create other methods like post put and delete once we done with that then we will move to our python request and pi side or pi qt based application which will read this data and uh, we will operate this all this information from our pi qt app so that's what our goal is okay so thank you guys i will see you in my next video